Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Delica Sunny Birch. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. According to the St. Mary's Health Department, food inspections are going to come at a cost, and information will cost $1,240 to be released. Even for finding out things such as whether the restaurant was keeping food at the wrong temperature, receiving food from an unapproved source, or even employees failing to properly wash their hands, it's going to be a rather high cost. The Enterprise requested a year's worth of food inspections from the St. Mary's Health Department, which means over 500 food service facilities and 2,700 pages of inspections. The Health Department responded with a bill for $1,240, but the Enterprise declined to pay for that information. 20 potential sites, all publicly owned spots that have been eyed by SMECO, have been picked for charging electric vehicles. The St. Mary's County Commissioners approved a list of 20 locations, as well as three alternate locations on Tuesday which were to be provided to Southern Maryland Electric Corporation for po possible sites of electric vehicle charging stations in the county. In October, county government became aware that SMECO received the approval for its electric vehicle charging station plan by Maryland's P Public Service Commission. The electric cooperative plans to install 60 charging stations in its service area, which cover St. Mary's, Charles, Calvert, and Southern P Prince George counties, with 20 located stations in St. Mary's. Students could soon graduate from high school and college at once with CSM working with Actively Motivated. St. Mary's Public School System and the College of Southern Maryland want to offer potential first-generation college students the ability to receive their high school diploma and associate's degree at the same time. Jeff Marr, the school system's chief strategic officer, and Eileen Abel, CSM's vice president of academic affairs, presented an idea that's been percolating for a decade now. Marr said at a school board meeting on Wednesday. Schwartz food fine will go on in spite of bike theft. A few weeks ago, a teenager walked out of Mike's Bikes in Lexington Park with a $400 bike as Mike Schwartz, the bike shop's namesake and owner, helped a group of teens pump their tires, according to Schwartz. Since then, Schwartz, who has run an annual Christmas food find in Lexington Park for decades, said we've seen him on his bike sh shop shortly after opening on Wednesday morning, adding that the bike has not been returned. Hornets boys and girls swim team sweep Try Me against the Cavaliers and Spartans to open the season. The Great Most High School boys and girls swim teams were excited to get back in the pool and compete in their first meet of the season, according to Hornets head coach Troy Cole. I thought for us, this was a great first meet overall, Kroll said. I think we were just ready to go out and race as a team. On Wednesday at the Edward T. Hall Aquatic Center in Prince Frederick, the Hornets boys earned two wins 2-0 overall to begin the year by defeating St. Charles and nearly getting by Calvert. On Tuesday, the top two wrestling teams from last year's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Tournament in Huntington and Leonardtown were set to battle each other in a try match with Thomas Stone at Leonardtown High School. The Raiders and Hurricanes showcased some new faces on the mats this season after finishing first and second at the SMAC tournament in February. And both teams are aiming for a run at the conference championship this season. Leonardtown with a 3-0 overall began with a 70-6 win over Stone before Huntington with 1-2 blanked the Cougars 0-3 with 78-0. The last of the night's three matches was the most competitive by the final team score with the Raiders outlasting the Hurricanes 56-15. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sunny Birch. Signing off. <laughs>